my salary was very low 1.75 lakhs per annum that's it so friends welcome back to our channel learn with gigs in this video i have invited varsha chitti kaneni who recently has cracked the job of a executive data analyst at flipkart after one year of gap after 20 plus rejections after so many challenges so her journey is really motivating so do watch this video completely till the end and friends if you want to learn the data analyst skills which includes excel sql power bi python as well as tableau then i would recommend you to go for code basics data analyst bootcamp 3.0 and you can become an ai enabled data analyst which is the demand of the market the bootcamp price is very affordable as it costs rupees 8400 at the same time the quality of the content is very good that i can assure you of this is how your learning journey will look like you will start with excel then you will learn power bi then sql and then python along with tableau and in parallel you will be talked about the importance of online credibility on linkedin they will help you in resume preparation they will guide you in job application strategies and also provide an interview preparation guide at the end they will also provide a virtual internship which you can also include on your resume so after four plus months of consistent hard work you will be job ready in the market i will provide the link of this bootcamp in the description box of this video please do check it out and friends do congratulate her in the comment box as she really deserves this appreciation and do like this video as it really motivates me and please subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and also you can follow me on instagram learn with gigs hello varsha ji thank you so much for taking out your time and coming on to this channel can you please introduce yourself first to the audience my name is varsha so basically, I am from Varangal district, which is in Telangana. My schooling was completed in year by my village only up to 9th standard. And after ten, uh, from 10th to master's, I completed in Varangal itself. Uh, I did my BSc statistics in 2021. And after that, uh, in 2023, I did my master's in computer science. So did you get any kind of placement uh, after your final year in college? Yeah, Shashanji. Uh, in my uh, BSc only, in the final year, I got placement. So the role was associate operations in WNS Global Services, so which is all related to the shipping and logistics. So I worked uh, at the back end of the logistics. So, but it was permanent night shifts. Like from, I worked from uh, September 2021 to uh, July 31st, 2023. So I almost worked for two years uh, in night shifts only. So like uh, due to night shifts, my health like uh, disturbed so much. So that is one of the reasons you know, to leave my job. Uh, how much you yes. are getting paid during this period? My salary was very low, 1.75 lakhs per annum, that's it. So you have landed a job as executive data analyst at Flipkart. So how did you learn all the relevant skills of a data analyst? So actually, initially, I don't know about the, like what is happening in the market uh, related to the data, data analytics. So that I joined a six months bootcamp, uh, which is a paid course. So there I learned uh, get to the know about the skills, all of the skills. And along with that, to strengthen my skills, I used to follow a few uh, YouTube channels. For Power BI, uh, to learn the concept, I used Analytics with Nax. And to prepare for the interviews, I used your uh, channel, Learn with Cakes. And for to uh, like do the projects, I used Code Basics Resume Challenge and Marvin Data Analytics Resume Challenge. These all the things I used for Power BI. And coming to SQL, uh, mostly I used uh, Tech Topic channel. So some other channels are there, but I mostly used only this channel. So for practice SQL, I used uh, Lead Code and Hacker Rank, Status uh, Stash, and Data Lemur. For Excel, I used uh, Innocent, which is the Hindi channel. Uh, and also change the YouTube channel. Okay, perfect. That's a great list of YouTube channels. So definitely people can note it down and they can also follow that. So now let's talk about your resume, Varsha Ji. So how did you design your resume, which actually helped you to get shortlisted at Flipkart? Yeah, this is a resume. Like uh, where I have uh, top, I included my personal details and uh, my LinkedIn, uh, GitHub and portfolio website link. And next I just uh, included a small summary so clearly I mentioned like I worked uh, on Excel itself uh, uh, in my previous role and also have uh, uh, like know the skills SQL and Power BI and uh, Python basics all the things have included here and next I have included my experience so here I narrated uh, with using chat GPT also uh, to frame the sentence so that can uh, relate to the uh, role. 
and next i have included my internship so internship i did only two two months so that's why i included the uh, down of the my experience here i included uh, three projects in my uh, project section so two are from power bi and one is uh, from sql so and also i included my project links so when we click here it will go to the uh, project it will uh, we can easily uh, know the show the uh, project yeah that's and a very important it. point told by varshadi that we had we need to include the project link individual project links whatever we are putting it on resume so that any recruiter they can click on it directly and see the actual report that you have created so varshadi you have also mentioned in your project section different numbers like you have quantified your points right so how did you come to that number 59% 44% can you tell that part because many people have this confusion how to write that number from my projects whatever i uh, like i got the numbers from the different I mean, we have different kps right so from that uh, kps uh, we get insights number uh, num in number format so i just included that uh, numbers in the project okay so whatever numbers you are getting on the project uh, in the form of kpis you wrote it down as in your bullet points under project section right yes yes yeah also if i talk about your experience section so you were looking for the role of a data analyst but you only had experience in excel right so what were you saying to the recruiters whenever you get the call like what kind of experience you have because you didn't work in sql you didn't work in power bi or tableau or python right so how are you managing your interview calls actually most of the interviews i got rejected due to lack of relevant experience only but i did most of the projects that related to data analysis that is on power bi and sql i used to explain on the projects itself so you were convincing them by showcasing your portfolio links and github links right Yes, yes, yeah. So, what was the ATS score of this resume, Varshadi? Ah, uh, Shashangji, actually, uh, I'm not much focused on ATS score. Ah, uh, like uh, I'm mostly focused on the things which I have worked. And to me, the ATS score is not work because whenever ah uh, I check the ATS score, it will be low only for me. But even though the ATS score is low, ah, uh, the resume is shortlisted. Yeah. So that's a that's a good point from Varsha ji that even though if you don't have a good ATS score still your resume gets shortlisted because not every company uses ATS software okay so this is also yes. a fact that you should know so Varsha ji now let's talk about your in job search period what kind of challenges you faced how many interview calls uh, you attended and how was the how was that period for you uh like i have attended uh, almost 20 plus interviews so to by applying to number of uh, jobs daily so like every time mostly i have uh, went to the last round and then uh, there i get to rejected and few are like uh, due to lack of relevant experience i got rejected so these are like two big things like uh, whenever we go like last round so we feel like uh, it is almost done we'll get uh, we'll get the job so but at the time only i got rejected so that was so depressed to feel like uh, have i have a belief on myself because i'm giving my best uh, to what i want uh, to get so like some on some day for sure i'll get but it takes time so in that way i used to tell myself and my parents are also very supportive and they are always used to encourage me uh, like you are trying so you'll just uh, just wait for some time and be patient like you'll get the things so in that way i used to uh, motivate myself uh, to get the job that's it yeah that's a very big thing uh, getting rejected in 20 companies right so people just yeah. get demotivated in one or two companies only right they they reject it and they get demotivated and they don't know how what to do and you got rejected by so many companies going to the last rounds as you said and then getting rejected so that's very demotivating and still you were able to motivate yourself that's a very yes. big thing very big achievement i would say so varsha ji for how long you searched for the job uh, to get the final selection at flipkart almost uh, 78 months i took completely uh, to uh, job search only just focused by applying and uh, modifying the resumes as per the job descriptions and applying did only this uh, for almost 7 to 8 months yeah that's also really commendable because uh, people just uh, lose their energy within 2 to 3 months of job search but you kept on doing for 7 to 8 months so that's really appreciating now let's talk about your interview experience at flipkart uh, sure shashank ji like uh, for flipkart uh, there are two rounds so as i said they need a, a person who have experience on excel and also uh, exposure to sql and power bi as well so first round is a hr round 
So I'll share my screen. So I note a few questions that are asked. Uh, yeah, these are the few questions uh, have noted general questions, but it, these are the important. So they have some checklist to uh, select the candidate. So first, like how many years of experience you have and what was your role at your company and what is your educational background and have you worked extensively with Excel? Uh, how good with uh, you are with Excel? Is it advanced or uh, mm -hmm. how? And next, which tools do you know? Like uh, I said, like SQL and Power BI, I know about much about the, uh, those tools. And are you open like relocation? And the next question is like uh, they asked, uh, they only th thirty-five percent of my previous uh, uh, hike on my previous salary. But I said, OK, because at least I get into the interview. So these are the questions uh, she asked uh, in the HR round. And the next round is uh, technical interview. Uh, after two days, I got a call from her, like uh, saying you are moved to the next round that you have a technical round. So in technical round, uh, he most asked on Excel, so like uh, lookup functions, count if some myths or uh, related to the formulas. Mostly uh, they have concentrated like they have given few questions and just how fastly you are solving the questions. So they check the first thing and the next they ask basic SQL questions and they did not ask Power BI questions, but he asked like, do you know about Power BI? Like uh, as I am more comfortable with Power BI only than uh, SQL and Excel. So I said the same thing, like I did more projects in Power BI. So I, I'm OK with that. So these are the things uh, they focused in technical. Basically, you can't ignore Excel at any point of time. Even yeah. if you have worked on uh, SQL or Power BI or Python, still sometimes what is happening for a data analyst position also, interviews are happening mm -hmm. on Excel itself, the way it happened for Varshaji. Now let's talk about the yeah. salary part, Varshaji. So how much salary Flipkart pays to an executive data analyst? We can expect like in the range of 3.5 to 5 LPA. Thank you so much for coming onto this channel, Varshaji, and sharing your journey. It is really motivating, and people will definitely get a lot of insights from you. Thank you. Thank you so much.